Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about Grav CMS. Grav is a flat file content management system. And flat file basically just means that there's no database or complex data structures on the back end to deal with. Instead, everything is kept in simple, readable files that you can easily access and edit. So to make my Grav site, I use Reclaim Cloud, which I showed in the last video. To do that, I went to the marketplace, navigated to content management, and installed Grav from there. Once that's set up, it should look like this. Now to edit your page, you wanna to go to application server on the config button, click that and it will show you your file structure. To edit any of the pages, you're gonna to wanna to find the pages folder. And that path can be found here, but I favorited it so it comes up in my favorites list. Now you can see Grav's basic file structure. Each page should be kept inside of its own folder. And to show you what I mean by that, let's take a look at the site that I made. I have five pages, introduction, pros and cons, alternatives, structure, and video. And each of those pages corresponds to one of these folders. If you open it up, you can see the content inside of the page, which is default.markdown. If we open one of these up, we can take a look at the content inside. Let's begin with pros and cons. Here, the file begins with the header, which allows us to define a title and slug. If you don't know what a slug is, that's basically just a unique part of the URL, which is here, slash pros and cons. And we can't use spaces in this because Grav's file structure doesn't allow you to add spaces. If we were to try, we would get an error. Let's hop back into the content of the site. Here we can see we're using Markdown for all the formatting. And Markdown allows you to use some HTML elements as well. So if you wanted to embed a video, you could use an iframe tag. Now let's create a new page for our site. To do that, we'll come back to our user folder, find pages, and add a new folder. What we'll do is we'll add a new number. So 06 dot new page. Inside of there, we want to add a new file called default.edit. And here, we can start editing our page. So we can add a header that says, this is a new page. Data. And if we refresh our site, we'll see that our new page is over here. And this is a new page. So you can follow some markdown cheat sheets to edit that however you'd like and make it look all nice. If we wanted to set this new page as our website's homepage, instead of the introduction, what we'll have to do is navigate back to our user folder, find the config, and inside of system.yaml, We can see the home alias is set to slash introduction. So we can change this to our new page. Once we save it, we can refresh. And if we click on different page and then our home button, it'll take us back to our new page. And now it's set as our home page. If you want to reorder these, we'll have to change the numbers on the page folders, and that will be rearranged accordingly. So that's a brief introduction to Grav. I'll link this demo site that I made down in the description below where you can find more helpful links and read more in depth on different topics. Thank you for watching. My name is Jonas, and I'll see you in the next video.